probably know me from To Catch a Predator, where we bust men looking for s*** with children. Go ahead and take a seat. Take a seat right over there. Oh, God. Oh, no. What are you doing here? I'm just being stupid, I guess. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and I've got a story to send you into the weekend all fired up, I'm sure. But uh, a middle school in Michigan uh, is now threatening to sue uh, after, uh, after people have reported on where they took their students. You might think, where did you go on your middle school field trip? Did you go to the museum? I remember when I was in middle school, we went to the Milwaukee Public Museum. That was a big deal. Used to get the dehydrated ice cream from the gift shop, like space, like astronauts had. Maybe the zoo, maybe an art museum, uh, things like that. No, no, they actually took them to uh, a dancing club, you know, that kind of dancing club and took pictures of them on the pole. Why? Because we live in the clown world, so deeply in the clown world. I just cannot tell the difference anymore. If, you've, if you're tuning in now, you haven't yet, please do click that subscribe button down below. I hope you appreciate and uh, enjoy the, the coverage today. Michigan Middle School now threatening to sue after official releases photo of students on the pole at a club during a school outing. Michigan middle schoolers enjoy a local uh, club uh, pole dancing facility in a recent class outing. Michigan School District Superintendent Robert Shanner threatened to sue a local official for releasing a photo of the students on the pole. The school says the kids were having fun having lunch at the club when the dancing took but why were they having lunch there first of all when i was young you packed a lunch uh but that's neither here nor there i guess parents have to spend a little extra time with their kids to pack the lunch they probably don't want to do that anymore these days but a trip from a michigan school district brought the students to a restaurant with an attached lounge that included poles according to a trustee on the school board who called the incident an example of poor judgment. See, I actually disagree with that. I don't think, I mean, yes, it was poor judgment, but I think that it, it was absolutely known and encouraged. The incident, which was highlighted by the Libs of TikTok Twitter account, showed middle schoolers enjoying the festivities, the activities there. I'm not going to show any of the pictures, obviously. Andrew Weaver, who is a trustee on the board, school board, said students began dancing on them. I wonder why they knew what that looked like. I wonder why the kids knew instinctively how to dance on them. It occurred back in November of 2022 when a middle school teacher at Hart Middle School took the kids on a trip uh, to Detroit Symphony Orchestra, according to Weaver. The students were taken to lunch at Nikki's Pizza, which is attached to Nikki's Lounge. The students were moved from Nikki's Pizza due to a lack of available space to the lounge, Weaver said on a post on Facebook. The superintendent of the district said they would consider bringing legal action against anybody who is outspoken about it. On December 21st, 2022, Dr. Shanner provided a letter of the Board of Education. The correspondence reinforced the need for a new school board member to comply with the board bylaws and a code of cooperation so that the school district can focus so can remain on the education of their students, the district said. Are you, ki are you kidding me? This is the original thing here. You say, uh, this past November, Rochester Community Schools Heart Middle School band teacher took sixth grade students on a field trip to Detroit Symphony Orchestra. Again, nothing wrong with that. The students were also taking a lunch at Nikki's Pizza which is attached to Nikki's Lounge. The students were moved from Nikki's Pizza due to lack of available space to the lounge where they tried out some pole dancing. Nikki's is located in an area that Detroit Police Department monitors as part of Project Greenlight Detroit. The, pro the program is a partnership between local businesses and DPT to install real-time cameras that are connected to police headquarters. I wonder why they need that. The school is really mad that people know a teacher took students to, to a club where they tried out pole dancing. Okay, so first of all, let me apply some 
some reasonable doubt. I know, you know, might bother people that I try to, I try to not think everyone's the worst human being on the planet up front, but I, but I like to try. I just don't think I could do my job if, uh, I, I don't think I could do my job if I just, if I, if I accepted that these people are evil and rotten to the core. Maybe they were like, oh, let's stop and get some food. And they didn't plan, and then somebody pulled up their phone and saw, oh, there's a pizza place right up the road. So they went to the pizza place. That pizza place might have happened to have a lounge that had these poles in it, okay? People maybe see this and, like, say, okay, well, we, you know, you should go somewhere else to eat. Maybe not. The kids are hungry. You only have a limited window. So you eat it. Okay, whatever. Um, now, when they move you into that room with those poles, it's pretty easy to say no. You know what you could say? How do you move these kids, by the way, from the school to the symphony? They're on a bus, right? Pretty simple to just say, go eat on the bus, right? Get your pizza, come and get your pizza, go eat on the bus. Problem solved. Like if you're an actual adult on the scene and you're like, and they're like, hey, we got to put you in this other room, whatever, whatever. You say, okay, and then you peek in there and you see there's, this is what an adult would do, I would think. You know, I don't have any kids, so, you know, people like to discredit my opinion on parenting. So maybe some parents in the comments can tell me if they think that that's totally unreasonable. It's like, oh, yeah, we need to put you in this overflow room. You look in there, you see there's, you know, dancing poles in there. So you say, mm, maybe we're just going to be on the bus. Problem solved, right? So somebody went in there, looked in there, saw the poles, took pictures, let the kids dance on the poles, by the way. Uh, they clearly know what they're doing, but they let the kids dance on them and took their picture while dancing on them and published that. Now, I don't know who took this picture, but it's pretty curious. You see Christina Prashaw, right? I'm old enough to remember when teenagers were told to stay in school and study hard so they could get stable long-term jobs as opposed to working in, in a dancing club. Now they go to school to learn how to work in a dancing club. Now, it is a separate business. You could see people coping here saying, Nikki's Pizza and Nikki's Lounge are a separate business. Well, why did you put the kids in there? And furthermore, it's extremely concerning that the school is now threatening legal action against people who are reporting on it, which is exactly why I'm going to report on that. I mean, the idea that, like, I could see how this totally would happen, right? Like, you would have a situation where you don't have room for these kids to eat, but you just tell them to go eat on the bus. You see an adult in the room sees this happening and doesn't think, Hey, yeah. Oh, maybe we shouldn't, maybe we shouldn't uh, have the kids on the pole. A couple of, I, I don't know if they're girls. This looks like a girl that looks like it could also be a girl or it could be a boy. I'm sure at that age, whatever you have Nikki's pizza. looks like they have a big outdoor patio. They were clearly on a school bus. So they clearly could have offered that. Proposed field trips are evaluated by a curriculum team and require parental guidance permission slips should continue. The safety and security of our students, staff, and school community are always our top priority. Nikki's owner, Agatha Calif 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 sorry, told the that the school would have known about the seating arrangement when it made the reservation. Typically, when we have a group of 100 people, we give them an option of going to the second floor, which is operated as a club on Saturday nights because it's closed during the day. During this, we've been doing this for 20 years. We've had dozens of school groups, and it was never an issue. She also said that the metal poles are not stripper poles, but simply part of the decoration. Are you joking? They absolutely are. There's a platform below them. You're joking, right? Despite the district's denial of any wrongdoing, Weaver, who ran for trustee on the platform of greater transparency between schools and parents, doubled down on his stance that RCS failed to adequately address the situation. As I previously stated, a key foundation of my promise to the public, there needs to be more focus on actions that reflect poorly on our district, he wrote on the trustee Facebook profile. Many community members feel like there's too much time and energy spent trying to stop people from knowing about the actions that reflect poorly on the district, well, not enough time and energy spent on actually doing anything about it. Look, to me, the solution is simple, right? You should never have had them eat in there. I don't care how big your group was. If they didn't have room for you downstairs, then they should have, the kids should have eaten on the bus. Nothing wrong with that. I ate plenty of lunches on the bus, okay? Uh, the fact that 
they are threatening to sue people who are covering it is extremely concerning. It was a bad decision made by somebody who probably didn't see anything wrong with it and forgot that it's their job to protect these students. Um, even if you're in the room with the pole, why are you letting them dance on it? You know what I mean? Like, I just don't understand. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't understand why people would be okay with this. That's absolutely insane. Um, the threatening to sue people, you see, again, threatening to sue officials after releasing photos. No, you shouldn't be. Th why are you suing? You screwed up, own it, apologize, I guess, and probably look at whoever made the decision to let them sit in there and, and you know, don't punish the kids, but whoever agreed to that situation probably needs uh, some closer monitoring. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it, and we'll talk to you again real soon.